Welcome back, artists. Um, we are continuing our unit of looking at our world. This week, we have practiced making sketches of our hands. We have learned how to draw a figure in proportion. Yesterday, you should have listened to a book about artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. And today, we are going to draw a portrait inspired by Basquiat. Basquiat. And tomorrow, we'll do some gesture drawings. Jean-Michel Basquiat was a famous artist um, in the 1970s and 80s. He was actually born in 1960. He's best known for his expressive, bold, sketch-like paintings. Jean-Michel's mother was Puerto Rican and his father was from Haiti. They lived in New York City. And as we learn from the book Radiant Child by Jivaka Steptoe, Jean-Michel's mother encouraged him to create art. She'd take him to the museums around New York City. And when he was injured in a car accident, she bought him a book called Grey's Anatomy. Now it's not the Grey's Anatomy from the TV show. Grey's Anatomy is actually a um, book that illustrates the human body. Um, it's like a textbook. So we can see in Jean-Michel's paintings here that he draws the figure where you can kind of see through them and see their organs and um, body parts from the inside. And you can almost see like bones and um, uh, their skulls. So it's very interesting how he draws his figures. This painting by Jean Michel was sold in 2017 for $110 million. It's the most expensive um, American painting that was auctioned off. Jean-Michel was known for using crowns in many of his paintings. This was his way of celebrating black people as royalty and saints. Here's some quotes that Jean-Michel has said. I want to make paintings that look as if they were made by a child. So he really embraced the free spiritedness of the lines, the shapes and the colors in his paintings. He's also said, I like kids' work more than work by real artists any day. So he really um, was interested in the natural way that people make art, especially children, because when you are a child and you are drawing and painting, your artwork that you make is more natural. And when you grow up, you, and I can tell you this from my experiences, you want things to kind of look more like what's expected or you want your artwork to look more realistic or to reflect reality. Whereas children have that um, imagination that they're not afraid to put onto paper with crayons and markers and art materials. He has also said, the black person is the protagonist in most of my paintings. I realized that I didn't see many paintings with black people in them. So a protagonist means like the hero or the main character or the main person, um, the important figure in his paintings. And he says this because, you know, from the book, he went to many museums and he would be a frequent visitor with his mother to art museums. But he realized that the art that he was seeing in galleries and exhibits did not show or reflect people who look like him. He has also said, I was a really lousy artist as a kid, too abstract, or I'd draw a big ram's head really messy. I'd never win contests. I remember losing to a kid who did a perfect Spider-Man. I wanted to share this quote that Jean-Michel said because it goes to show that successful artists do not have to have the type of talent where they can draw exact copies of things from real life, but instead that what makes some artists really stand out are that their ideas and that they have courage to challenge what everyone else accepts as art. He's also said, I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life. So it sounds like when he's working, he's just letting the picture come alive as he's painting. Your studio activity for today is to draw a portrait inspired by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Materials you may need are newspaper or just regular paper, 
and crayons or markers. So if you're using newspaper, try to find um, a part of the newspaper where it's mostly text and not a lot of pictures with color um, because you will be coloring over it with your crayons. So I'm looking for a part of the newspaper that has a lot of words and I might even cut uh, my newspaper so it excludes all the other pictures. The reason we're using newspaper is because Basquiat used um, a lot of found materials for his art. I'm going to go in with a black marker here, but if you have crayons, you can use crayons or any drawing material um, that you have handy. So I'm starting with that radiant crown, and I'm just making my lines nice and bold, but I don't expect them to be perfect. So they're kind of like sketchy lines where they overlap or they're, there's a couple of lines in one place. And now I'm going to draw a shape for... Um, my portrait and I'm keeping it kind of rectangular um, it's not going to look realistic I'm being very uh, open with my lines and shapes meaning that I'm kind of just letting them naturally come out and if it if I make a mistake or if I make a line I don't actually like I'm just gonna keep going with it So as I said before, you can use any drawing material for this project. I happen to have some markers and crayons, and so that's what I'm going to use to color in this portrait. The idea is to have big, bold colors. So I'm going to just add this red um, around my picture and then find some places to color it in. But first I want a good idea of where I want all this red to go. Basquiat's art was bold and messy, and he didn't always color in the lines. That's what made him stand out in the art world. He challenged, he challenged people to see that art could be wild, expressive, even unplanned, but beautiful. Make sure that you fill in the background with big, bold colors as well. Here's my finished artwork. It's bold, it's not colored in the lines, it's a little bit messy. I also made a second one because I had so much fun making the first one. Share with me what you have created for your Basquiat-inspired portraits on Seesaw.